machinery. Um, so to say something is irreducible complex, um, I think is a risky statement because inevitably in biology you find something a little bit simpler. Um, and I think that's what a lot of the intelligent design creationists have found, uh, that they put these things up as irreducibly complex or not changing them. Scientists ultimately disprove them. But it's not as if, uh, again, that these creationists are spurring this research. Like I said before, if it causes disease, um, the NIH really wants to give you money to figure out how to stop that disease, uh, especially with children and diarrhea problems and uh, infant mortality. Uh, studying how bacteria become pathogenic and how they've evolved those uh, pathogenic mechanisms um, is a very rich field of study, even if creationists had never noticed uh, that particular bit of machinery. Well, the whole evolution theory is all about how complexity could come about all by itself. Evolution certainly has... In a stepwise manner. Yeah, it, well, ev evolution has uh, certainly thoughts on complexity. It's, it's, it's what all the thinking is about. I, I personally think that the intelligent design community comes up with some interesting questions and some good questions, but, uh, but I wouldn't say it's a, it's a one-two punch to the idea of evolution or a one-two punch to the idea uh, of a creator. But I do think how the first complexity got there in order to have things get complex, if evolution even could work, that's the real question. How, how are, how are the, not the origins of the species, but the origin of species, period. How did the first life get started? I don't see it as just uh, 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 a nitpicky question. It's actually the first step in evolution. And that one also must remain in hypothesis. And again, I don't have any problem with that. What I do have a problem with is it's a fact, even though it's based on, on a hypothetical <laughs> mechanism that really isn't, isn't described. The, the deep sea vents, uh, you've got your chemotrophs living there, and did they actually? And did they actually then become uh, autotrophs and, uh, and heterotrophs? Did they learn to eat each other instead of eat the sulfur compounds that came out of the vents? Did they learn to photosynthesize, and how did they do that? And where where did the chlorophyll molecule come from? Where did the, the original complexity come from to even get the evolution ball rolling? Uh, I think it behooves evolution to, to provide that. I can, un, can, I can uh, understand and commiserate with the problem that that is, but, but I, I am, it is notable by its absence how often the question is dodged or said, well, it just did. Uh, after that, about you can talk this, about process. Have you thought about turning this into a scientific paper and submitting it to Nature or Science Magazine instead of trying <laughs> to... And sir, if you read there. it, would it get published in that journal? You I, personally, if I, you were I, one I, of the reviewers. I, I, I don't review the scientific magazine. Yes, well, people that do think a lot like you. Why can't we discuss it? Why does it have to have someone's stamp of approval on it? I like I, I like stamps of approval. I like the FDA to tell me that a drug is safe. I mean, sometimes it's not as much, but I I don't like this idea that anybody and I definitely can talk about. I'm sorry, I don't want to pick apart what you've been saying, but you, you said you said that um, that certain people aren't scientists because they don't fit a standard, and that uh, a professional scientist, a professional scientist, is a very specific thing. I understand, and that their way of thinking that you disagree with is childish. You said no, the no, best no. way for this. You said the best way for this to actually amount to something is to get involved in the scientific community. Absolutely. And, and to get that, but if there's a closed door in the scientific community where we can't have an open discussion because we've already made it up in our minds that. Everyone's viewpoint is wrong if it's not the one that we hold. But it's but not. That's where you're wrong. I'm going to talk about it from a slightly different perspective. I'm, I'm a career engineer. And when I went to engineering school, because there weren't religious groups trying to get alternative views on.